Hare Krishna, today is January 20th. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, today. Hare Krishna, today is January 20th. The quote is entitled, Don't Get It Backwards. If we think we need spiritual strength to follow our vows, it's natural to blame a fall on a spiritual weakness. Have you ever heard someone say, I don't have the energy to exercise? It seems logical that energy is needed to exercise, but actually, but usually, the real reason one doesn't have energy is because he doesn't exercise. Saying I don't have the strength to follow my vows is the same kind of backwards thinking. Commit to your vows and following them will give you the determination to continue. So one time a devotee asked Prabhupada, how do we get the determination to follow our vows? And as I mentioned yesterday, that's not a, the proper question. So Prabhupada said you can't ask that question because you've already committed. So that's the question you ask before you commit. You understand? Like if I'm going to commit to something, then I want to think, well, how will I be able to do that? How will I get the strength to commit to it? That, then it's a good question. But once you've committed, that's a no-no question. You can't ask that anymore because you've already committed. So that, that, that's what commitment means. It's, it's, it's a done deal. You're going to do this. Not, well, I know I've committed, but I'm not really sure if I can do it and I, can you help me do it? No. Commitment means you made the decision so there's no other thing to do. There's no other decision about not doing it. Now, what we're saying today also is that I've noticed that a lot of times when devotees can't follow a vow, they say, I can't follow it for whatever reason that there may be. It may be that I'm weak, which is usually one of the main reasons, or perhaps I'm lazy. That's a good reason, right? How come you didn't do that? Um, I'm lazy, probably. You, know, you have to understand, I'm a lazy person. You can't really expect too much from me because lazy people don't really do too much. You know, it's hard for lazy people. Why, why didn't you follow your vow? Prabhu, I'm a weak person. I don't, I'm not a really strong person. I don't have a lot of strength, you know. I'm just really, I've always been weak all my life. I'm, so, okay, we're joking here, but you understand what I'm saying. We're looking for reasons why we can't follow. So I want to I wanna take it to a different level, and I think there's a different reason we should look at maybe much more important and obviously more fundamental. It's just the idea that I gave my word to do something. And what's my integrity to my word? So maybe I'm lazy, maybe I'm weak, maybe I don't have time, maybe I'm confused, maybe, maybe whatever. But a person of integrity, when they say they're going to do something, even if they're weak, even if it's difficult, even if they don't have time, what do they do? They do it. So when we say, I can't follow my vow because of this reason or that reason, I suggest look at your relationship with integrity in general. Is, it really, is that really the problem that you're weak? Or is really the problem your integrity with your vow, that you, you say you're going to do something and you don't? Because a person who has that high level of integrity, even if something is difficult, they'll do it. And there's a story. We had a life member. He helped us a lot. But at a certain point, we were doing things which were not proper, and he was kind of getting discouraged to help us. So at one point, he told me, he said, you did so many bad things in your movement, and I helped you resolve these things. And at some point, I was kind of fed up with you because you kept doing these wrong things, and I kept having to save you. 
And he said, the only reason that I kept helping you is because I promised Prabhupada. Prabhupada asked me and I promised him that I would help you. And because I promised him, I'm helping you. Otherwise, I actually have no desire and no reason to help you. And I appreciated that because it was at a point where he really didn't want to do it. And logically, he didn't have good reason to do it. So he had, you could say, good reasons not to do it. But because of his integrity, he said, I did it because I promised. And I thought, that's such a good example. Why do we keep a vow? Because we promise. Not because it's easy. Not because I have time. Not because I'm a, I'm a determined person. Not because I have all the good qualities or all the necessities. I do it because I promised. So something to meditate on when you're feeling it's difficult to keep a vow. Is it actually the difficulty or is it actually my commitment my relationship with my word, that I don't take my word seriously. I say things, but I don't really mean them. I say I'm going to do it, but I'm not, I don't, I'm not really committed. So look at your, you know, your level of commitment. Are you your word? Because that's what Prabhupada wanted us to be. Hare Krishna. Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai.